love them or you don't. It's that simple. They have a very unique taste, and you can usually find football fans taking a crack at them. Jennifer Phillips introduces us to a man who says he has the best boiled peanuts in town. I usually eat them all at one time. If you've never tried them, they're good, I guarantee them. You've probably heard about them or watched people crack them open one right after the other. and eat them. They're boiled peanuts, a salty snack sold right here in the South. And they're not like the peanuts that you buy in this little bag or the nuts that you find in this candy bar. And of course, you can't find boiled peanuts in a vending machine. This is the best place I've seen to stop get the boiled peanuts and enjoy the games. But you can find them here, right off of Wade Hampton Boulevard in Greenville County. This stand is run by Thomas Lowe. All right, sir, there's one quarter peanuts. He's also known to his customers as the peanut guy. Almost central location where there's lots of high schools in different directions, and they can stop by here, uh, get their fresh boiled peanuts, uh, and take them to the game. On Friday nights, football fans make pit stops here before heading to a Greer, Wade Hampton, or Blue Ridge High School football game. They come by here on Saturday, too, or they even log on to peanutguy.com. It's a tradition about, you know, every time it gets around the cold season, football is always a good thing to warm you up. And the peanut guy says his customers can't seem to get enough. I guess the salty flavor of it just gives you that little extra kick. He sells them hot and fresh. I sell them like one quart, or they can buy two quarts, or I have a gallon bucket. And he adds his special touch. Rock salt, water, and a long, long boiling period, at least 15 to 18 hours. But he says the secret behind why so many customers go nutty over his boiled peanuts is because it really isn't a nut at all. They're actually in the legume family, and they're beans that grow in the ground. So what kind of bean makes his batch so good? There's no question. Mine are far and away the best in town. Well, that's a secret we'll keep under the lid. Jennifer Phillips, Friday Night Bliss.